Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about some brand new content that's going to be coming to Grand Theft Auto Online soon. I would expect this to probably arrive around Halloween time, but it is a new arcade machine. So we're getting some details on this new arcade machine that's going to be arriving. This is coming from Grand Theft Auto enthusiast, researcher, and data miner, Monkey Police 188 who said this on Twitter the other day. There is a new arcade minigame coming to GTA Online as a part of LS Tuners. The two-wide, two-player Cam Heads arcade game is a ROM copied variant of the Badlands Revenge 2 mode. And you guys can see there that he has links to both the intro and the outro scenes. But before we take a look at that, this is what the game actually looks like. You guys can see there that it is two players. The game is called Cam Heads. You guys can see there is like a camera with a red light shining down on where our players are supposed to be. You've got trash cans that are sort of wrapped up in this like tape or like something like that. He is right. It does look very similar to the Badlands 2 game. So it is sort of a copy of that. You guys can also see that this is a close up of what the game is going to look like here. Cam heads with our two characters right there, that there's like a bunny and a monkey developed by Pixtro, one and two players. So that's pretty cool. That's ultimately what it looks like. And then on the actual screen, you can see that there is like uh, a person who has a camera for their head holding a shotgun. This is actually supposed to be a reference and an Easter egg to another Rockstar Games title, and that is Manhunt. I don't know how many of you guys actually played Manhunt, but it's a clear reference to this. In fact, this arcade game was originally supposed to be a Manhunt one, but Rockstar actually changed it. This is what it looked like in the files previously. Rockstar put this in the game during the Cayo Perico heist, and in Los Santos Tuners, it was replaced. You guys can see it says Manhunt found footage, so clearly a reference to that and the guy with the camera on his head holding the shotgun. It's very similar to the Manhunt main character, the way he's holding the shotgun, stuff like that. So that is the Cam Heads game right there that is going to be arriving. Let's actually take a look at those intro and outro scenes as well. So pretty cool, right? Those are the intros and the outros. The only thing I will say, it's kind of a shame this is just a reskin. Uh, I was hoping that it would be kind of like a new game, but it pretty much is Badlands Revenge 2, just in a little bit of a different mode. But there are more details here. He goes on to say, like Badlands Revenge 2, there are five levels in different environments. Level one is the city. Level two is the scrapyard. Level three is the asylum. Level four is the theme park, and level five is the slaughterhouse. There are hostages, bunny girl, and monkey, and the enemies are hoods, innocents, guards, clowns, herd, and burzy, which is the final. And you guys can see here that there's a poster for it as well, where literally Badlands Revenge 2 is like crossed out with the spray paint. And it's the exact same poster for that, just with like spray painted stuff all over it. So it is a clear just uh, parody of that, basically the exact same thing. Now, there's also pickups that you can get as well, different weapons. You've got a revolver, shotgun, assault rifle, and nail gun. There are throwables like the nail bomb, Molotov, and brick. And there are power-ups like a cash bonus, heart pills, which restore health, buff pills, which boost damage, shield pills, which gives you immunity, and videotapes, which are also a bonus. So all in all, it sounds like a really fun game mode. I'm gonna be excited to get my hands on this one. And the last thing is that there are a bunch of rewards as well. 
There are three individual challenges, six awards for platinum. Completing the individual challenge rewards, the players with eight t-shirt variations, and completing all challenge rewards will give the players a trophy. And this is what the trophy looks like right here. It's a bunch of VHS tapes, cam heads, faces of death, straight to video. That one actually looks pretty cool. And these are the t-shirts too. You guys can see that the actual color of them may vary, but you've got like the various characters on there, cam heads. You've got the monkey being chased by the mouse, one that just says cam heads, the poster, uh, the roller skate, and the uh, sort of camera with the candle, and then like the monkey doing something with the mouse, or I don't really know what's going on there, but you guys can see that those are a handful of the t-shirts right there. And the awards are carry out over five headshots across all scenes in cam heads, carry out over 10 headshots across all scenes in cam heads, get 20, get 30 headshots, get an average of 60% accuracy across all scenes in cam heads, get a five star rating on each of the scenes in cam heads, complete all levels using only the pistol in cam heads, kill all costumed weirdos across all scenes in cam heads and then kill both the monkey and the bunny girl. And there's even more too, like for getting a certain amount of accuracy through all the playthroughs, getting a certain number of headshots, completing the game using only your default weapon. And there's even in-game text for the congratulations of completing the challenges and ultimately winning a t-shirt. It said, you spilled some beans and won a t-shirt. You completed cam heads using only the revolver and won a t-shirt. You took out every costumed weirdo in cam heads and won a t-shirt. Your accuracy is unmatched, so you have won a t-shirt. Stuff like that. Those are the lines that they end up saying and the stuff that you'll see on screen ultimately for completing those challenges. And there's a handful of other challenges as well. I'll leave a link to Monkey Police's tweet in the description. So if you want to check it out all for yourself, you totally can. This game actually looks really exciting to me, and I wonder when it's going to be released. Manhunt definitely had like a Halloween vibe to it, and I can imagine that Rockstar is going to do the same thing here, that we're just going to be getting this around Halloween. At least that's my thinking, although they might end up doing something totally different. That I'm not sure, but you guys can let me know in those comments down below, A, what you think of the game, and also when do you think it is going to be released? Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.